This is the third tutorial of the series on the dialog system's cutscene sequences. This tutorial covers sequencer messages, which are a very useful way to control the timing of your sequences. We're going to use a dialog system trigger to play sequences, but the same thing applies to sequences on your conversation nodes too. We'll start with a basic sequence that plays when the scene starts and plays a dance animation on Private Heart. This is what the NPC's animator controller looks like. The dance state transitions to idle when it's done. And this is what it looks like when you play. Now let's say we didn't have an automatic transition from dance to idle we can still control that transition through the sequence. Using the syntax that we covered previously of an at sign and then a time mark, we can play the idle animation at the eight second mark. And this is what it looks like. However, that's messy. It requires us to work out all of the timing in excruciating detail. So instead, we'll use messages. We'll change the first command to animator play wait. And when it's done, we'll tell the sequencer to send a message, which is an arbitrary string of our choosing, and we'll choose done for this. Unlike the animator play command, the animator play wait command waits until the animation state is done. The other sequencer commands all either have a wait form or by default, they wait until they're done. This is all documented in the reference manual. In the second command, we'll use the syntax at sign message and then specify that same message. That means that this second command will not run until it receives the done message, which in this case is being sent by that first command. And this is what it looks like. It's also possible to send sequencer messages in your own scripts. This is frequently done for tutorial conversations. Here's an example. We have a dialog system trigger that starts a conversation called tutorial conversation. We've set up the first node of this conversation to play a fade in from red when the sequencer receives the message touched platform. That means that this node will wait until it receives that message. And we have a very simple script that calls the method sequencer.message and passes it the message. This is in the pixelcrushers.dialog system namespace. We've added that script to a platform model with a trigger collider. This is what it looks like when you play. That's it for this example, but you can imagine that each node would request the player to do something different walking them through a tutorial. And that's it for this tutorial on sequencer messages.